Hi and welcome to the Free Swatches channel. Uh, so today it's a lovely day and I thought well let's just come outside, come to the woods and I can sit down and show you some of our watches in actual natural light. Um, watches look so different depending on the light that you look at them under and a lot of the time obviously when we're actually wearing a watch we're looking at it in natural outdoor light. So I thought as it's such a nice day, it's the middle of the summer here in the UK, let's just make a video with me showing you the watches uh, out in the woods. Um, so in a moment we're going to go and sit over on this log over here and we're just going to have a look at uh, a few watches and I can explain them how, as they look in natural light. first watch I brought with me today is a Blue Dial um, 101. Uh, we've made a couple of these and uh, we've got there's a couple of these in stock at the moment uh, on the website including this one. Um, the blue is uh, a navy with a cream loom and we aged the bezel just to, to soften things up really, it just sort of complements the fact that the dial has that sort of creamy colour loom to it. Um, so overall we think the colours all sort of match in quite nicely and uh, I think it can certainly be appreciated outdoors a bit more that it's got a really sort of nice warm feel to the watch. So yeah, really pleased with this one. It's got a nice tan two stitch strap which um, obviously complements the um, complements the blue on the dial and the bezel really well. Right, so here's our uh, the second watch that I brought with me. This is a, uh, a 101 with a 369 dial and a gold bezel. The gold bezel does change in a really nice way depending on the light. Um, when it's in a bright light it really sort of shines but in the well, in the shade it's, you can see a kind of greeny gold colour to the bezel. Um, it's one thing I do like about ageing watches is that they have a, so a lot more character to them in this regard. They're much more three-dimensional in the way that they respond to the light and uh, it's certainly uh, an attractive feature of the watches that we make. Um, we've got an Oyster bracelet fitted to this. These bracelets do change the appearance of the watch considerably. It's a uh, traditional Oyster style but except with uh, rivets on the side in, like um, you would have seen on a uh, sort of vintage, or you see on a vintage Submariner from the 60s, that sort of thing. So yeah, really pleased with this one and uh, certainly think it makes them for an attractive, uh, attractive watch. This is the third watch that I bought with us. I thought it would be nice to bring the Tropical Dial watch out. I have been talking quite a bit about this one recently and showing it to people because we're really you know, quite proud of the fact that we've got there with this, um, this type of dial. looks great in natural light to me. I really like the way that um, the reflections from the, um, from the sky sort of just play on the, dial, on the, on the crystal and uh, give it a different look. And the bezel as well. You'll see the bezel you can sort of picks up some blue colour you know, from the sky. Uh, when you really get that reflection on there. So yes, yeah, it's just a nice thing to look at, you know, outdoors. Um, so yeah, really pleased with this and uh, I think the loom colour works well with the tropical dial uh, and this watch certainly has got a very much a worn-in feel, uh, more so than some of our other watches, which isn't for everyone, but some people I think will um, certainly enjoy the, um, the much, you know, the, the heavier patina to this watch. The fourth and last watch I brought with me is this uh, aged red dial 101. Um, this is the sort of watch I really like to see outdoors because of the colour. The colour is, is kind of warm uh, and it does look, it doesn't look like a new colour. It looks like something that's been, you know, bleached by the sun uh, or changed through time. And these are the sort of effects that we, we're trying to get with these watches. We're trying to make something that looks different and in some way uh, unique. So I, mean, I hope you can see a bit of sunlight on there. It just really changes the colour of the dial. The bezels have got a kind of sort of faded red warmth to it as well. So yeah, really pleased with this watch and also the red strap complements quite nicely as well. Um, this is this for me is perhaps one of the highlights of the, um, the coloured watches we made last month because it really, you know, does have, have the features that I like to see in the watches we make. It has that sort of character that, um, you know, we, tr we try to achieve when we uh, make each watch individually. We try to get them all to have their own, own kind of charm. Uh, so yeah, really pleased with that one. Well thanks everyone for sticking with the video, it's been great to come out here today, it's a lovely day here in the UK and I've had a really nice time just being out in the woods and being able to show you the watches in natural light. Um, hopefully you can see that it makes a big difference to the light that you look at a watch under. Um, often when you look at adverts online for watches, it may be a CGI image, um, it's obviously going to be a studio light image most of the time, but to see the watches in real life I think is a much more useful way of seeing how they look and hopefully that's been useful to have a look at the watches today uh, in, this, uh, in this setting. Uh, so thanks very much for watching the video. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to and hit the bell for the notifications and we would love for you to sort of join with us as we uh, continue to talk about watches and watchmaking in the future. So thanks and bye for now.